Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Fish and Grills. We got our target, we got some black hoggies. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna um, we're gonna clean them up, take off the head, rip off the skin, it's gonna look like this. Then we're gonna take it home, fillet it up, make some Baja burritos. Stay tuned. This episode of Today we'll be targeting the black trigger fish. Over here it's more commonly known as hoggy. There are over 40 different species of trigger fish that can be found worldwide. The more commonly found off the coast of Mexico, Philippines, Indonesia, the Caribbean, Australia, and all parts of Polynesia. Hagi is usually found around reef structures but can be seen out deep as well. This fish is armed with sharp teeth and a powerful jaw which they use to feed on crabs, sea urchins, and all other organic marine species. Hawaii state record for hoggy coming in at 1 pound 14 ounces caught 2016. The male trigger fish is also known to mate with up to 10 females in a season. This fish is one of the easiest fish to shoot and it has a very high population. These fish tend to get a bad rep as a rubbish fish and are very underrated. The hoggy is a little bit different and difficult to clean, but the meat is delicious. With a mild flavor and texture, this fish can be prepared fried, seared, grilled, or ceviche. Cut behind the trigger. Oh, it's tough. <laughs> How it was so easy the first time. I'm gonna trigger straight down. Are you on the right side?
thing to do, but with the right technique, you only take about, about a minute between one. So. That. One speed. All right, everybody, welcome back. We are here with our huggies. So we beheaded them at the beach and skinned them. So now we're gonna fillet them and then we're gonna put it on the side for later. Stay tuned. Alright, now everything's all filleted up. Now I'm gonna debone it off the pin bones. And this should make two separate slices. <laughs> it's horrible. All right, now that everything is skinless, bonus, we're gonna take it in the house, rinse it off. We're gonna leave it in the fridge, get everything else prepared. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so we have our fillets here. So we're gonna rinse them off in some ice water for one to rinse off all the sand that's inside the meat. And the two, the cold water keeps the texture nice and firm. I want to put it on a nice paper towel bed to dry it off, make sure all the sand is out. So this is important why you have to rinse it. Real, real, real close, see all that sand that gets stuck in the meat? Look at that. Sandless, boneless, skinless, Headless, sandless. All right, in the fridge we go. Here's all of our fillets. Let's get everything else ready. All right, so our first dish, we're gonna make fish ceviche. So we got a basic, this is a Maui onion, sweet onion, good for to eat raw. Tomato, we have cucumber. We're gonna throw in a, um, a backyard grown papaya. Here's our fish, cilantro, and then one garlic. Probably use this whole thing. Stay <laughs> All right, and for our main ingredient for ceviche, here's our fish. So I'm gonna cut this real fine, smell it in sashimi.
All right, so our ceviche is done. So we're just gonna give this a good mix with all the ingredients. So cilantro, onion, tomatoes, cucumbers, and our fish. Okay, then this is what makes it all together. So we're gonna skirt maybe, yeah, maybe half this bottle. So the citrus acid in this actually cooks the fish, kind of gives it like a quick sear. I use this whole bottle. So we we'll let this sit for about an hour while the fish kind of cooks in the lime juice. And I'll be ready to serve with some chips, sad burrito. Stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna make our modified pico de gallo. So pretty much we're just gonna use one onion, two tomatoes, a couple of garlics, and we're gonna mix it all with pre-made salsa, the Tostitos salsa. Mix all that up, and that's gonna be good for a dip. Put it in the burrito with everything else. Stay tuned. And our last ingredient. All right, for a batter, real simple. We got two eggs. And another one. Mix this up real quick. Add in our garlic salt. Pepper. Shake them up, shake them up. So we're gonna go about a couple minutes on each side, flip, flip, golden crispy. Next batch. First batch is about done. That golden crisp on each side. Cheers. Cheers. Sample. Good flavor, good texture. Super good. So this is gonna go in our burrito, lettuce. <laughs> this pico di gallo, and then we're gonna top it. Simple and easy, some Thousand Island, Big Mac style. All right, so we have our whole wheat Sinaloa tortillas that we're gonna use today. So we're gonna throw it in the microwave for about a minute. So what that does is it heats it up, makes it a little bit stronger when you wrap it, it doesn't rip, and it warms it up. Is it a nice temperature? So we're only gonna do a couple today since it's only me and Caleb. No one knows what Cruiser does. Microwave. <laughs> yeah, let's go 45 seconds. All right, now for our assembly. Get one of these tortillas. Lettuce. Modified homemade pico de gallo. Thousand Island. And our final product, our Baja burrito made with black trigger fish, made delicious. But here is our black trigger fish ceviche, very delicious with our side lime chips. Hmm. Hagi Baja, cheers.
Oh, super delicious. I mean, it's tasty, soft. I thought the ingredients was perfectly. Oh my. You know, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me like yeah. pico de gallo in that too. Oh, I'm <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. That's a good idea to pair it with my mix. Yeah, no, I'm just mean, bro. Yeah, that, that yeah. took after the chips. <laughs> Everything fresh, too. All right. Five and five, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Five and five, baby. Let's go. Fish and grills, baby. Let's ride. Two. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We are out here with fish and grills. My brothers, what's going on, man? As you can see, we got the spread going on over here. I'm going to let them take over. They're gonna explain what they're doing right now. How's it going, my brothers? Doing wonderful. How are you doing today? I'm all right, man. We're doing all right. I'm still alive. We're getting in. Go time. Go time. Catch it up. Bruh. Wait, it's not too hot. I don't know. <laughs> How's it? <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed this episode. Good times, good food, good people, and always. Tune into the next episode of Fish and Grill. So mainly is that we get over a thousand different species of fish, island wide, and we like take all the undervalued fish and make easy, practical ways on how to prep them, make them taste delicious. For example, what we're doing today is the black hoggy. They're everywhere. There's hundreds and thousands of them, island wide, state wide, and. Make them to tempura, make some delicious tacos. There's so much out there, why not make use of them, you know? So, yeah. And then educate you on where the, where the fish came from, where you can find the fish worldwide. And just a lot of different um, facts and all what the fish. So, 